We're surrounded by beautiful oceans that millions of animals call home. Lost and discarded fishing nets or ghost gear injures and kills animals like whales, sea lions, birds, and fish in huge numbers. Hundreds of thousands of pounds of gear becomes ghost gear every year. We've seen over 60 marine mammals killed in derelict nets. Over a thousand birds have been found in derelict nets and hundreds and thousands of fish and invertebrates. It also really impacts the marine habitats. This net is about 80 feet deep. The divers will dive down and they'll walk the entire length of the net to survey how the net is positioned in the environment. And generally what he'll do is he'll bundle up the net by hand. Once he's got a good, reasonable bundle, he'll cut the net off and send that up with a float back. In the last couple days, we've removed about 2,500 pounds of per se net that's about, about 1,000 feet long and 100 feet wide. In the net, we've found uh, a couple of live fish, uh, kelp greenling. We found uh, some small crabs, golf ball crabs, and invertebrates, large snails, tritons. And we've also seen how the net's been draped over this reef for a long time. Complex and difficult net removals like this one play a crucial part in protecting ocean life. Through the Global Ghost Gear Initiative, we're working with partners to remove lost gear from the water and reduce the amount of gear lost in the first place. One of the great things about the Global Ghost Gear Initiative is you can get multiple members like we have here today that makes this project possible. So we can take the project from start to finish, remove the net from the water, and then make sure that it gets out of the waste stream entirely and gets recycled rather than being put into landfill where it can be a danger to terrestrial animals and not just marine life. Ghost gear is a huge problem for animals, the environment, and the fishing industry. But by partnering together as part of the Global Ghost Gear Initiative, we can make a real impact. For more info, visit worldanimalprotection.ca.